Okay, so the car is set outside um, in the sun. I showed that a little bit ago. And uh, so now it's time to start buffing. As I, as I showed before, I sanded everything, 2,500, 3,000, 4,000, used 1,500 on a couple spots. Um, and it's ready to start buffing. So I used two, si two different size buffers. Um, of course, compound with the blue pad to start with. Then I'll use the uh, medium with the yellow pad and eventually I'll uh, polish it. I may not do that until the end, after I get the motor and stuff in it. But anyway, I got uh, some nice rags here, towels. Wipe the buffing compound pound down after I buff it. I keep the water here. Um, I've got some 1,500, 2,500, and 3,000 sandpaper. Because as I, as I buff, I'm probably going to find a spot that I'm not 100% happy with. And I'll end up sanding that a little bit and then buff it. So um, I'm going to start buffing away here. You see the, the difference here. I haven't sanded the jams. I'm not going to. But you can see the difference in the shine there. So... Okay, so I'll show you a little spot that I just buffed. I buffed this area right here. And hopefully it's coming up at the camera good. Right here's where I stopped buffing. This has been sanded. This has been buffed. And what I do is I'll typically kind of start at the bottom and work my way up and go around the corner panel there. But um, I'll buff it. I'll use a small buffer on like these areas and then I'll use the bigger buffer on these areas but then I come back with a small buffer and do all my radiuses go along the edges here around the lights and so forth with the small one got a little more control with the small one um, if you're buffing, it's probably not a bad idea to tape some of these edges off if you've if you've never done it before. I've done I buffed uh, several cars and used to do fiberglass molds, so I've used the buffer quite a bit, and so I I feel comfortable without taping anything off. I always try to make sure that the the buffer the whatever way it's spinning. Um, so if it's spinning this direction, I'll, I'll tip the buffer up like that. So this part is away from the car and this is hitting. So it's not hitting right on that edge is how I, tr I usually try to do it. And what I do is I'll, I'll buff one area like this maybe three different times before I'm satisfied. And what I'm looking for is to make sure I get all the little sand scratches out. And you look on the edge and you can see like right here, there's a couple real small sand scratches. So, you know, I, I'll do the top of this quarter panel, work my way around there and get that. But if you look in this area here, this is all uh, pretty nice right now. You got all my sand scratches out. Again, I used, uh, I used the coarse pad and the coarse compound first time. I'll go over it with medium once I get done with the whole car. I'll go over the whole thing with the coarse first, but so anyway, hopefully that's coming, picking up in the camera. I'll go ahead and buff this area. It's not a bad idea to wear a mask when you're doing this, but um, for demonstrations, I'm not wearing one. What they recommend is four drops, roughly like that, and then you start buffing.
So I usually go side to side, up, up, down, back and forth um, until you know you don't want this to be completely dry. But it does create heat. Um, so what I was saying before, you you might notice how this rotates. Uh, you push hard on it, it just oscillates. It doesn't turn very much, but it does turn. And so what I try try to do would be, if, you know, obviously it's turning that direction. As I said, I tip it. I'm ex doing an extreme here, but I tip it so that this side is hitting and this side isn't. Because I don't want to go up against that edge. You can burn that edge if you do it. Going this direction, you've got a lot better chance of not burning. Same way as up here. You know, I'll do the same thing, but typically I stop, you know, I'll buff like right around that edge, and then at some point I'll roll it up and really get this corner, get this edge, and I'll concentrate on that. So. so that was one pass in that area. And it looks pretty good. There's still just some real small sand scratches in there. So again, I'll go over that two or three times until I'm happy. You want to try to get all your sand scratches out with your with your course. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. right here you can see this is shinier little duller right there and that's because there's a sand the sand scratches are still in there um, across from this point that way so I'll go over in another pass I'll go over one more pass and just uh, take care of it Okay, that looks really good right there. Occasionally I'll come into a small spot that um, didn't sand out. Maybe it was uh, some contamination on when I sprayed my clear coat. And it's like a little, uh, just a really small spot or a whole kind of a dimple, I guess. And if I come across one of those, I'll concentrate on that area, maybe sand it a little bit to get rid of it. Um, same with the orange peel. This is clear laid out really nice, but occasionally, you know, when I'm seeing this, I may miss uh, just a slight little bit of winch pill. So once I puff it, that'll show up. I'll see that out as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. So I pretty well got it buffed with coarse uh, uh, buffing compound. And it's, it's looking pretty good right now. But there's some areas that um, I'm not 100% happy with that I'm going to sand on, and I'm going to try to get you uh, try to get a, a picture of that. So right in this area, right here, um, you can see some sand scratches and a little bit of orange peel. Uh, I, I need to I need to sand that with a round sanding block. It's just not quite even. Hopefully it's picking up my camera. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take a little 1500, sand that 25, 3000, then buff it. Get rid of that uh, orange peel. So I'll take a little round block. And lay it in that radius. And this is 
1500 so I'm sanding it in an up and down motion. I'll go the opposite direction. I'll go with it in line with it this way. So 2500 will take out the 1500 scratches. It under accessory makes it nice because I can rotate this up and down and get the light on it and see a lot better. Now I will go over that with 2500 with just a soft block here and I'm going in line front to back. smell when you start sanding. You get it opened up, you know you're cutting into it. Smell that fresh clear coat. ready to buff. Okay, finished buffing. Went over with it uh, with the fine compound. I still will polish it when I'm done. Uh, probably after everything's assembled, I'll polish it. But it turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. So, get a shot of the roof here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to sand this area here in this back tail panel. I'll use 600 grit paper, sand, wet sand that down and get it prepped so I can paint it. Paint these two pieces, uh, the trunk deck, the end caps, all the little pieces that need to be painted black. That's my next step. I'll start prepping that, that now. So 